bonehead move by me. I did all the work, got out there. I was hoping Jeremy was set up behind this big tree here and on him. I crawled and I crawled and I crawled and I waited for the wind and I crawled some more. And I finally got to where I thought this tall, this tall red brush here I thought was the end of it and then there, there became field. Well, they ended up, there was more grass. So I kept crawling and uh, it started getting pretty thin. I could see the field edge to right straight in front of me, but he was to my left. And I tried to go some more, but it just got too thin. So I settled in and I raised up. I could see him strutting out there pretty good. And I knew he was probably around a 45 yard mark or so. And uh, he kind of took a quick run there one time. And I thought maybe he was chasing something, maybe a hen or Jake. I couldn't tell, but I, I felt like there's more birds out there. So I just kind of hunkered down. He fanned out um, and looked away. So I raised up. When I raised up, there was two Jakes there that I wasn't expecting. And I, I, the one on the left caught my eye. The one furthest to the left took my attention away from him. The one closest to him um, seen me pretty well, and he raised up, and I, was, I, I knew I was busted. So I put my bead back on him, and when I did, I turned, and I seen some big white spot. Put it right on there and pulled the trigger. After pulling the trigger, I realized he was facing away. So completely ruined that. Oh well, it happens. This whole spot and stock thing gets tough, um, especially crunch with time, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, we got two birds down between Jeremy and I. We both have a miss this year, which we haven't done in a long time, but it's all still fun. I mean, you can't expect to, to win every time at this game. Well, the time has come already for uh, 2012 season to start putting in food plots. Um, I'm out here in this little little corner spot here that one of my good friends came out here and tilled up and turned up for us. Um, we got some fertilizer out here we're going to put down. I got this uh, frigid forge uh, wall hanger I'm going to put out. It's a, it's a good perennial um, mix. They got that full of, of clover and alfalfa and a bunch of stuff like that. but. We're going to try to do it upright so it comes up good, not keeps all the weed and grass out of here. Um, the little boy's with me today. He, he enjoys doing the whole food plot thing, so they're calling for a rain. Well, here it is, uh, Saturday the 28th. It's the second weekend of Missouri's turkey season. Um, Jeremy and I, once again, we had a wild one. 
Uh, we set up out in the cornfield on some birds we roosted last night, a couple big toms. The hens pitched out like we wanted, toms didn't follow. Uh, we, we said this late in the Missouri season, we decided to pack up, go get the shotgun, get, <clears throat> get mobile, and we hit, the, we hit the timber across the creek, went up, and we came across this bird and some hens. Um, man, it was, it was, it was awesome. Uh, I actually was running the camera to start this out, and Jeremy was the shooter. Um, we had this Tom out there strutting, putting on a show. Uh, we kind of, I kept calling and calling the hens in close. They ended up bedding down in some shade about 30 yards from us. Uh, Jeremy was waiting and waiting and waiting. Well, we had to wait so long. We both stoved up pretty bad, but I was up a little bit higher. And uh, I asked Jeremy, I said, the bird, you know, the bird's close enough. I said, I can shoot him. I said, but if you stand up or you lean up, I was like, those hens are going to bust you. So he, the, the nice guy he is, the great, the great friend and hunting partner that he is, he slid me the gun. And he let me fill my fill my last Missouri tag. So um, awesome, awesome bird. Probably got close to a 12-inch beer. We put it up to a, a piece of paper, and it's it's as long, if not a touch longer than the paper. It's got some awesome spurs. I mean, these things are great. They're over an inch, nice and sharp, just all around awesome bird. Couldn't ask for a better bird to end my season. And you know, big thanks, big thanks to Jeremy for letting me do it. Uh, a lot of people wouldn't do that. A lot of people would be selfish and greedy, but uh, he's a great friend, great hunt partner, and I wouldn't trade him for anybody. Great friend, great hunting partner, and I wouldn't trade him for anybody. I'm close to a 12 inch beard, and he's got over inch spurs, and they, they're, they're nice, they're real nice. He don't know where his mom, daddy. 